It's a local nonprofit that helps develop and mentor young boys. And they're turning them into young men. Today we have the founder, Devon Kelly, of the 13th Man here with us now. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to talk about the 13th Man. Absolutely. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you came up with that concept? Well, the 13th Man was started a, a few years ago um, with the idea that um, young men who participate in sports uh, sometimes are unfortunately do, do not have the opportunity to make a team. Um, and usually because I'm involved in basketball, there are usually 12 men to a team, and that 13th man usually is left out. And unfortunately, that, that person, that young man, sometimes doesn't see the opportunities, whether it be travel, whether it be mentors, whether it be coaches. So what we try to do is try to help that 13th man become one of the 12 men and, and, and help them reach some of the same goals that some of the athletes that are better than them uh, reached. I like that premise. What do you actually work on and what age ranges are you working with? The age range is 12 to 17 year olds. Uh, we work on from uh, becoming a better person, number one, becoming a better man, number two, and then the third one is just being a better citizen to the community. Um, trying to knock down some of the stereotypes of our young African American males in the, in the county. Yeah, that's an important premise, as Denise was saying, because a lot of these young men, young women who are that 13th person are left out, and it can do a lot to the uh, ego of a person to be left out. Abs absolutely. And, um, and so what we found over the last couple of years that, that, that some of these young men just strive to be part of groups. And we, we hope that the 13th man gives them that group to be a part of. And then sometimes reach some of those goals they otherwise. We have trips scheduled, we have tutorials, things that otherwise if you were on a team, you would get to do during the summer. And uh, now with the way the sports are, you travel all over, and sometimes you miss that opportunity. We hope the 13th man provides that opportunity. And what do you find are some of the challenges that they face in trying to become that better man, trying to become the better person in the community? Overcoming stereotypes um, is the biggest thing. Um, so what we've tried to do is speak confidently, be confident about yourself, and when you walk around, hold your head up high. Um, and, and, and it seems simplistic, but if you start there, then things kind of roll behind it. And um, so often with uh, young people on TV, on the news, uh, particularly with things that are going on, they, you, you become stereotype. And, and this gives them a foundation to begin that just simplistic thing, be who you are, and then, and then walk, walk with your head held high. There are a lot of groups out there that target young men. What makes yours different? I don't think it makes us different. I, I don't strive to be different. I mean, there are not a lot of young men that, that are out there that we all can help. Um, I just have a different segment who signed up for us. Um, I, I don't, I think with the, with the thing in numbers, if we can all work together, we can reach a lot more people in the county rather than compete each other. So we're not necessarily different. Um, we don't like to refer to ourselves as sort of a mentor, but we try to reserve ourselves as, as um, a supporter, if you will. Gotcha, gotcha. And you've got some kind of cool coming up on Monday? Yeah, we have a golf tournament. It's our second annual golf tournament at Woodmore Country Club, uh, right in Mitchellville, Maryland. Um, we have um, some guest celebrities will be there, some local business people will be there. More importantly, we have men in the community who want to give back. Um, hopefully, if the uh, at the end of the day, some of the young men who we're helping will be able to attend the uh, banquet dinner. Um, so it's, it's a fun to get out and play golf, be in the community, and more importantly, help us do some of the programs we like to do throughout the year. Sure. You may have mentioned how long you've been in this program. Do you have any success stories you can tell us about, any personal stories? Yeah, so we had, we had one young man who uh, started, he was one of our original sign-ups, um, Mr. Cruz. He signed up and wasn't sure what the 13th man was going to offer. Um, but got involved, of, not only became a 13th man, but became one of our leaders. Um, and one of the things that he did for us was, I wasn't aware that to go into the military, there were tests and things that you had to do other than signing up, what we're gonna do it. And uh, he kind of alerted us to, hey, how can you help? So we've expanded our tutorial program to even test taking skills that the military may ask. And uh, so, so it was a success story because he came in with, with we talked to his teachers and they were kind of down on him. But again, he, he was a smart kid who just needed confidence. And, uh, he graduated. Um, he graduated. He's getting ready to head off, I think, at the end, the beginning of January mm -hmm. to the Army. So um, hopefully he'll be able to go spread the word and come back and speak to our group to say success can happen. Oh, love that story. story. Congratulations to you. That. And let's tell our folks about exactly when that golf tournament will be so that they can come out and support you. It will be Monday, September 25th at the Woodmore Country Club. For more information, visit the13thman.org. Thank you, Devon. Yeah. Thank you.